I just might be a perfume addict. I love perfumes and I've got over 600 of them and I just go through them like crazy. They just make me happy. And here are the 10 you need to know about that I chose for today. By the way, my name is Monica and I love perfume. Uh, so if you love smelling great, subscribe to this channel. I also post vlogs and luxury content on this channel. I could have picked so many fragrances, but for this video, I have picked these. There are some um, niche ones, some designer ones, the ones that really I wanted to share with you and you need to know about these, especially if you love smelling great. The first perfume that is really close to my heart and that is special is a Rouge Marquite from Armani. This fragrance can be considered a bit of my signature scent because I love it so much. I wear it quite often and this scent is stunning. It is like an explosion of beautiful, smooth, creamy white flowers. It is a bit milky, a bit coconutty. It smells a bit like a suntan lotion, but a tiny bit. But there is this awesome spicy creaminess to the flowers. It's just delectable absolutely great at projection and longevity. This is a wow factor, so well blended, such a stunning signature worthy fragrance. And the bottle, I mean, come on, it is just gorgeous. You need to check out the Pierre Exclusive. I think this collection is called from Armani something. It's basically based on different stones. So this is the Rouge Malachite because of the, of the Malachite stone. Uh, I also love uh, the pink one. So check out the pink one as well. But this one is just majestic. Next perfume that you need to know about is this little baby. Oh, it's again delicious. If you've never tried to avoid perfumes, then you need to try fire at will. This is a scent that even if you have never delved into the world of uh, niche perfume, you will love because it's a super likable light vanilla, but with a twist. They've got this like mimosa in there. It's a just a fun, a very uh, happy light vanilla scent that smells not like your regular vanilla. It doesn't smell like a vanilla, cheap vanilla candle. This is just delicious, like a um, vanilla dessert at a five-star Michelin restaurant. This is the sort of fragrance it is, and it's incredible quality, really just amazing scent. Next up is a freshy, because you, who doesn't love a fresh fragrance? Sometimes we don't want really sweet, we want something crisp, fresh to the point this is an amazing holiday cologne not cologne perfume <laughs> i've got a cologne channel as well that is why sometimes in my head it's like colognes no perfumes this scent if you're escaping the winter cold you're going somewhere warm for christmas or january february you need to know about this fragrance it's called pomelo from joel joe loves this is so nice. It's like a, a really tart grapefruit. It's a simple fragrance but smells extremely natural and just cuts through the like sweatiness and you know in the hot weather you just want something that makes you feel clean. This really does that. I wore it uh, at the end of the summer and really really enjoy the scent. So Joe loves. You need to know about this one. Talking about awesome fragrances, let's also talk about Vanille Insense from Atelier Cologne. Somebody said to me that Insense actually doesn't mean like incense, that it means like crazy. I don't know if any of you guys are friends, let me know if that is indeed the case. This scent is again a floral, white floral vanilla scent. It's light. It's perfectly French. This is a scent that like a, a Parisian woman would wear. It's not too loud. It's present, but it's so refined. Really smells expensive and the flowers in here really make it a bit different. This is semi-gourmand, but on a fresher side. Absolutely just 
great and indulgent i enjoy wearing it on uh, when it's a bit warmer in the winter time or fall time this is where this just shines uh, it's an excellent one i love the leather on the uh, cup as well i'm really obsessed uh, with bottles i love bottle design if i had a brand of perfume i think i would spend like years like trying to figure out what kind of cool bottle i could do because they are just so fun don't know if you guys are like me but i always like think oh this is cool this is like thick glass oh this is different shape oh this is fun texture next up <laughs> another perfume that you need to know about is rouge à parfum manhattan eau de parfum this scent is so fun and delicious. If you love tobacco in your scent, if you are somebody who loves that spicy, smooth tobacco, I'm actually wearing this fragrance today. Oh, this is a bit boozy, it's tobacco, it's a bit of like mintiness in here. There's a bit of like even Christmassy vibe, like um, pine trees or something. There's that in here. It's intense, it's very cozy, it's spicy. That tobacco is a bit like, it's not that strong. There is just a touch of it and it's a sweet tobacco rather than the whole fragrance being earthy. It's like a sweet coziness. This is a fragrance that isn't too loud, but it's perfect for this cozy like hug feeling. And what is really interesting about this one is that uh, when I smelt it, I thought, hmm, this doesn't smell like a Roja, uh, Roja perfume, but in a great way. Like, I love Roja perfumes, I've got tons, okay? But I do enjoy this because it's not your typical Roja. It's a bit more cozy, let's say. A bit more cozy le uh, and more gourmand than like florals because he loves his florals. This I just love because it's gourmand, it's delicious. Next perfume you need to know about is, if you know anything about me, I love perfumes from low price points, really expensive price points, I don't care. If it smells good, I love it. And one of these um, perfumes is also Chance by Chanel, Eau Tendre, Eau de Toilette. This scent is, has got my heart because anybody, literally anybody could wear it and it smells different on everybody. I've smelled on loads of people and every time it's the scent, but it changes on people. It's a perfect signature scent because it smells like uh, your skin, but like always fresh, always pampered, always like moisturized. It just smells like a well manicured, groomed, lady and you can just apply it for anything like any situation you can think of this goes with everything um so not only any age but everything so i just love this scent because this is fail safe if you want just one perfume in your collection you could just grab this and this will go with everything and it is also considered sexy by men like my husband gets obsessed with it i've asked on instagram a couple of times which fragrances men love and they consistently say this one although to me this is not a sexy scent but you know like we all have different i think everybody smells things differently and for example like we smell fragrances on other people and might think they're awesome on other people, but we might not want to wear them ourselves. For some reason, this is just like when somebody else smells it on women, they just really like it. So I don't mind it. I like compliments for my fragrance. I don't know about you. <laughs> Next up is this cute Actually, this I think this 30 ml is still online. You can get it at Selfridges for sure. I just love this little size because I've got so many perfumes. I really don't need like a 75 ml. Maybe if I run out, then I'll apply it. <laughs> I'll apply it. I'll get it again. But this Delina from Parfum de Mali is gorgeous. I also actually was wearing it today. This scent is a rose it's a bit tart it's a bit fruity it's got vanilla in here it's like this girly womanly beautiful intense perfume the intensity on here is quite big so you don't need too many sprays at all if you like perfumes with great performance you'll be very happy with this the bottle is to die for every time i look at the bottle i'm like oh 
they just nailed it it's like boudoir beautiful princess it's also a super likable scent whether you're just beginning with fragrance whether you like have thousands of fragrances but you can't go wrong with this one my husband is obsessed with this scent actually so i wear it sometimes for him as well just love it you need to know about delina i mean you'll hear about it a lot probably because everybody seems to be talking about delina always next up we've got Odwell from diptyque this is a fragrance that i remember when i started watching vlogs like 10 years ago this was the scent everybody was raving about and it's still amazing i've got the eau de toilette i find that it's lightness it's what wins me over it's a scent that smells like fall to me this is a spicy vanilla that is super light and airy and delicious and comforting this smells like a yellowed orangey leaves falling off trees in the fall time really just the color of the juice everything this is what this fragrance smells like it's uh, incredible this you apply it and you want more of it and you reapply it throughout the day because you can't satisfy your need for this fragrance it's absolutely addictive once you get it i guarantee you won't be able to stop um, applying it and rebuying it it's absolutely insane next fragrance you need to know about is ex nihilo this is lust in paradise you know what i love about this that they've got um blue inside of the cap which kind of matches my outfit today i love that little pop of color this scent to me is um, a very clean rosy scent this smells kind of soapy but in a beautiful floral clean way but the dry down is not harsh in any way because i hate when something is like flowery and artificially just too harsh this dry down is actually a bit like tonic like slightly just really beautifully blends with the skin so it smells extremely natural it's very light very pretty perfect for everyday sort of school work situation it isn't too much but it is absolutely stunning. If you love fragrances, for example, like Chloe, the original Chloe, you'll love this. This has got this like just roses, super clean scent. Gorgeous, I love this scent so much. And by the way, if you want to purchase any of these, I'll link my favorite niche shop down below because I've got a 10% discount code always on like every niche perfume on there. So. You can get yourself a discount with my code so i'll link it down below and next fragrance that you need to know about oh my gosh is maison crivelli les solaberg with this scent with this house every single fragrance just surprises me in a good way because they're not your everyday fragrances that you can find anywhere that they always just have a nice twist and this scent has got something very special. It smells to me like a Norwegian forest. I used to live in Norway, maybe that's why. It's got citruses in here with iris, which makes it much more cozy. Iris makes, it's like a little cocoon. <laughs> there is the citruses, but the citruses aren't sharp. They're more like when citrus is a bit more sweet and rounded, there's still this like citrusy fla uh, flavor and scent, but it's not like a typical summer in Italy sort of citrus. It's not like pomelo, for example, from this is like crisp, just very straight to the point, whereas this is more like a rounded, you know, summers in Scandinavia are not that hot. So this is like a, mild nice warm but not too warm temperature with the wind and uh, there is some radiance to this fragrance but a lot of calmness in Scandinavia I find that it's all about the calmness of living of all the uh, trees all the nature there and this fragrance just makes me feel super calm and it's a freshy with a tons of difference like you won't find anything like this and if you love your fresh fragrances that are super different you need to check out the soil bag because this is amazing and you can get it with a 10 percent discount as well in the shop that i'll link down below my baby 
What is one perfume I need to know about? And I probably don't. Let me know in the comments down below so we can all discover some new perfumes. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm also on TikTok and Instagram at Monica underscore Cioch, C-I-O-C-H. So I'll see you there. Till the next time, bye.